Okay, today we're going to be solving for surface area of a rectangular prism. Remember a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional shape. A rectangular prism has six faces. And what I mean by a face is that this right here would be considered one face. And if I look, I have one, two, three faces looking at me. I then have one, two, three faces that are hidden, giving it a total of six faces. We will need to keep that in mind as we solve for surface area. Okay, let's start. Surface area. Surface area, by definition, is the area of six faces. Remember area is just length times width. So we're going to be solving length times width for six faces. Now, if I look here, we're going to start with this face here. This face, I would say my length is eight and my width is nine. So we're going to start by doing eight times nine. And eight times nine is 72. So I now know that this face is 72. Okay? Next, we're going to solve for this front face, okay? The front face, the length is 5. We're going to times that by the width, but if you can see here, I don't have a measurement, but if I keep looking over, I can see that it lines up with 9. So I'm going to do 5 times 9, which is 45. Okay, now I now know that this face is 45. Okay, the next face that I see is this top face. So now we're going to solve for the top face. Again, we're going to do length times width. Here, I don't have a measurement here, but if I keep looking down, I see it lines up with 5. So I'm going to do 5 times. Again, I don't have a measurement here, but if I keep looking over, I see that it lines up with 8. So we're going to do 5 times 8, which is 40. Okay? So now I've solved for three faces and one, two, three, and I have the area of each. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to now add all of these together so I can get the total area of these three faces. So I'm going to add 72, 45, and 40, and I get 157. Now, I now know the area of these three faces, but I still have six that I need to solve, so I need to solve for three more. And if I look, I'm going to know that this one is equal to this side, this is going to be equal to the back side, and the top and the bottom are also going to be equal to each other. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to double those areas. So I'm going to do 157 times 2. And 157 times 2 equals 314 and that is my surface area. So I now know that the surface area of this rectangular prism is 314. It needs a label. I'm measuring in inches, so I'm going to do inches squared, and that becomes my total surface area.